and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some meme tier Sunday decks. We're going to have meme tier Monday tomorrow, of course. We got a couple of more meme tier decks today. Uh, just going to be having a short stream today, just the two decks. So we'll just play two more meme tier donation decks because got a good amount of viewer submitted donation decks to get to. This one's going to be Echo and Pike. And you may be thinking, well, how do Echo and Pike work together? How it's going to work together is Echo um, allows us to play predict cards and, you know, make rewards us for playing predict cards. And what we can do, like, you know, predict cards like Practical Perfectionist. What we can do is we can predict Pike and put Pike on top of the deck so that then whenever we attack, we lurk Pike and turn Pike into death from below. That's going to be our goal here. The other thing is Echo is in Piltover and Zaun, and besides predicting, Piltover and Zaun is also known for copying. So we can use cards like Counterfeit Copies and Parade Electro Rig and put extra copies of Pike into our deck so that even if we're not predicting, if we have more and more Pikes in our deck, then it'll be easier and easier to uh, lurk Pike and get those Death From Belows. Also, if we have a Death From Below in hand, you know, if it's this card in hand, then if we use a counterfeit copies on it, it will just be Death From Below going into, uh, into the deck, not Pike. And so that whenever we draw it, even if we don't lurk it, it will be drawn as a Death From Below. And that's going to be pretty cool there. So then, uh, so that's a nice little uh, combo there. And besides that, we got a good amount of lurkers. We're going to have a couple called shots that can create parallel convergence, which is also Echo's champion spell. Um, that those called shots and those parallel convergence are important because they can allow us to get those free attacks. And we also have chrono breaks that can rally. And y'all know who really likes attacks. That's right, Pike. <laughs> you know, if you can just attack more and more with Pike, you're dealing more and more damage with Pike. And, you know, you're getting to kill stuff and like wipe out their whole board. So that's kind of like what we're doing here. We're going to have one give it all. Uh, we got some spicy top end stuff. We're going to have a give it all uh, to, you know, because like whenever you lurk and you, you can make like a whole lot of like large power things with lurk. So then we can, uh, you know, give like echo a lot of power and stuff like that and just give a lot of stuff lots of power. And of course, a couple jawfish to, uh, you know, kill some stuff, be a, a cool top end card. Two copies of Most Wanted to just be a five mana draw three instead of having like the eight mana draw three um, with Progress Day. We can just spend five. And sure, we have to discard our lowest cost card, but y'all know that like a lot of these lurkers, like later on in the game, like, you know, we don't need a, sh a Sharkling or, you know, stuff like that. So no big deal to discard. You know, like we, we'll probably find something to discard. Um, let's see. That's about it. Yep, that's about it for the deck, so let's go ahead and give it a try. We're going to play some Echo Pike. We're playing on over in Normal, that's what we do here on Meme Tier Days. We just play our decks in Normal, because we want to give the decks a better shot at doing all the cool stuff. But just because you're in Normal doesn't mean you don't play against Tier 1 decks. As you can see, we're playing here against Darkness. Darkness is very good. And I kind of want to just keep this hand. I guess we can send back one of these lurkers. We don't really need both. You know, maybe the... I was thinking, like, the second one, you know, we could play one on round two, but, like, the second one could be good to have later on in the game to give a champion vulnerable. Give me your palace, strangers of doom! So, unfortunately... They're going to have a very good darkness. Alright, let's go ahead and perfect, you know, practical perfectionist. Try to find Pike. Okay, no Pikes there. A one, a two, a three. But obviously, if we could have found Pike, that would have been ideal. So, I guess we go ahead and Bloodbait. So, just in case... We know that we hit that. Yeah, now these darknesses are doing four. That Twisted Catalyzer card improves the darkness deck so much whenever it has it on round two. Getting two strikes in with that is just... It's a world of difference for that deck. Yes, okay, it was Pike on top. All right. We got lucky. I don't really know how we're going to beat Dark, you know, like this doing 4 damage to my pikes and stuff. I don't know, but 
I guess we'll see. Do you think Viego will survive in this meta? Absolutely. Absolutely. Viego is incredibly good. And yeah, I think I think Viego is very well positioned with the slower metagame that we have. Okay, so we know that they have cards like, Vi you know, like so they have Vile Feast, Pokey Stick. They have those kind of cards. I'm not gonna because they have extra mana there. I'm not gonna block and um, have them uh, be able to use that. All right, let's see. How should we? How should we do this? Let's put more copies of Death from below in the deck. And then also Practical Perfectionist. We'll put Death from below on top. And, again, put more copies of Death from below into the deck. So that's pretty cool. Alright, good. Get that Lurk. So we put seven extra copies of Death from Below into the deck with those two. We just drew one, so there's six additional copies of Death from Below, besides two more pikes. So eight of our 30 cards are either pike or Death from Below. They've had an incredible darkness hand, though. You know, just starting round six, and their darknesses deal five damage. Like, this is not exactly fair. So we really want to wait until Echo's leveled up to play Echo, because we really want those Chrono Breaks, because obviously Echo just dies immediately. Astounding curiosities lie ahead. Alright, so they're tapped out. So that means I get to open attack and play to parade Electro Rig a Pike. That's good news. We could definitely use one of those most wanted, those draw three. Draw three, but we do have to discard one. Well, obviously we don't want to discard either of these. We can see like what's cool about our deck and everything like that, but this is just not a, a great matchup for us. This is just like they're just gonna out out grind us, obviously, like with so many of their like all their cards being two for ones. Like we'll, This isn't gonna work out well for us, but we got to show some really cool stuff. I would think the Lurk would happen, and then Electro Rig puts four copies into the deck, I would think. Okay, chat saying the Lurk happens first. So now we have six Death From Belows and six Pikes in the deck. So 12 out of 41. Persistence is key. So about every three and a half cards is either a Pike or a Death From Below. That's obviously the huge problem, though, is darkness. Yep, we missed Lurk. We had a Mystic Shot on top. Oh, that's right. You don't get to just discard any card you want. It has to be your lowest cost card. Which, in this instance, that's exactly what we want to do, but I gotta remember that for playing this card in the future. Alright, so now one out of three cards is a pike or a death from below. We still got 12 in there out of the 37. I mean, we have to kill Vagar. We can't let them just keep Vagar around. But this is obviously a bummer because Darkness kills my Pike. I wish we could have played against a different deck and had this the same hand. This is this is exactly what we hope our meme deck to be able to do. But Darkness is just mean.
they basically have an entire hand and deck filled with pikes. <laughs> you know, every card that creates a darkness is a pike for them. Alright, might as well try this. Yeah, they only have one Vagar, but remember they also play, like, Rekindlers and stuff like that. Me and Echo... I need you to be better, Echo. Things aren't gonna improve themselves. Why couldn't they give Echo three health <laughs> whenever they just buffed up Echo? Two health Echo is... yuck. Man, I'd love to have Hidden Pathways. Alright, so we miss Lurk again. Unfortunately, the Pike was right between those Lurks. Okay. Uh, let's take a Bone Skewer. Bone Skewer is good with the Pike, right? And technically kind of good with the Echo, also. All right, I guess we get multiple bone skewers. You could say I got a life with. Uh, right, we're going to stick shot that thing. Really? I guess so. Huh. So they didn't cast that first. Oh, to create a new one. Yeah, you thought that they would maybe cast and then create a new one, but they did not. No, we're not drawing horribly. We really did draw incredibly well this game for our deck. We cannot say that we drew horribly. Never turn your back on the sea. Like, we even drew the most wanted that we needed. It's just... They had a great Darkness hand with that Catalyzer early, and then double Vagar, and... Darkness is rough when you're just trying to play units. Good thing we drew that second Bone Skewer. Oh, many more? Death from below. All right, we got our death from below. We got our chrono breaks. We want to kill Senna now so that they don't get to, you know, have fast speed darknesses anymore. And also, if they're playing like Miss Call, they don't get that. This does set up like a, a jawfish. Potential jawfish. Those chrono breaks would be great to draw. That right there is why having just the death from below's in the deck is so important. Come on, chrono break. Split the chrono break. Oh, not so much. Roll. Here. That's a first. This does to all enemies. The six to all enemies. Let's give this a shot. You made choices. Gonna break, please. I guess Chrono Break isn't. Yeah, Chrono Break doesn't really matter, does it? Okay, Time Trick or Snapjaw Swarm. Another Time Trick.
six doesn't quite kill it. And we get the darkness out of hand. We're actually not doing that bad now. Death from below. Let's take another time trick or a sharkling. Maybe I should be taking that time trick. I think that if, if I attack right now with the with the jawfish, I think they you know use pokey stick, vile feast. They kill it. This gives me 8 mana, so with 8 mana I can Death From Below and Double Bone Skewer. Uh, that card's so annoying, because it just gives them this good blocker. That card's quite annoying. I guess I just attack now. Because if I pass... If I pass, they can pass. Mm. No Lurk. copies it targeting the Nexus no matter what. So I don't think the Nexus copy... Yes! Okay, because I don't think we can fizzle that Nexus copy, so that's just us not taking that damage now. That's great news. That Chrono Break was a great draw. Through conflict, we grow. Alright, so I think that's going to be game. I think we got him! I think we got him! Because they got three mana, they're going to play this Darkness. And that's going to put us down to two. And it'll kill Pike. And now Chrono Break for the win! I can't believe we, we beat Darkness. Our hand was awesome. We drew really well. But man, that was... That was cool! Look at that! Let me rally! Let's go! Echo Pike! Our meme tier deck, beating in tier 1. Yeah, that game did take a really long time. 25 minutes for that game. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it did take a while. But we got the win. I think our, you know, our opponent had Darkness and stuff. I think they were a newer player. Because I think they were reading a whole lot of cards and stuff. That's my guess. We got Sivir Akshan, and that's perfectly fine, of course. Sivir Akshan. Let's get rid of Cold Shot and Time Trick. Yeah, let's just kind of keep these Lurkers. Kind of see what's up. Sivir Akshan's usually very aggressive, and we may not have time to, um, you know, time to play like those spells that just are like two mana draw card type spells. Oh, Pike, I need you on top. Another pike? Okay, we got alert. Saigumba! Thank you, Saigumba, with the 11 month resub saying, Always good. Uh, let's play this now. Always happy to see the meme tier decks do well. Thank you, Saigumba. I'm worried about. Attacking with the Snapjaw Swarm, not gonna lie. Kinda don't want to. Alright, we're gonna put more pikes in the deck. Okay, didn't hit Lurk. And yeah, I was expecting them to use like a whole bunch of pump spells and save 
Akshan. Akshan's crazy. Fixing the world one scoundrel at a time. This card is so good. It's crazy you'll have to spend two mana on this champion, right? Then it's just like giving you predict draw for zero mana, which is worth two mana by itself. It's an incredibly good attacker. All right, so no pikes. I could put like this on top, and then we can attack with a three power snap draw swarm. We could take like the bone skewer that would help out some. Ugh. I don't know. I don't love it. I just definitely wanted just wanted pike. All right, so they have to have another plus two plus one here, right? I mean, I guess we make them play it. Yeah. Good hand opponent. GG's. GG's. Gives us a little bit of hope. Nothing the slightest possible. bit of hope. But against Spell Shield Sivern, not really. Yeah, that card is good. There are champions for a reason. Champions are quite good. I go where the trouble is. It's never too far. Not like this. Scores to settle, crooks to kill. You know how it is. Angry Guardians, bunch of gold. So we have to do this now before Silver Attacks gives them all Spell Shield. Pike has still dealt zero damage. We love it when they run. Okay. Well, that one wasn't too close. Okay, before we move on to games three, four, and five, we're going to make one small change to the deck list. The give it all really doesn't look like it's going to be a card that, that's ever going to matter too much. And the most wanted is okay. Um, but I think what, what, what we're going to do here is change our, our card draw card. We're going to be playing three augmented experimenters instead. Um, think the thinking here is that, you know, if we don't have an echo or a pike in hand, you know, kind of like with the, the most wanted, it's, it's okay to discard some of the, like the lower cost card, but this augmented experimenter, we can just kind of play, um, to just, you know, again, refill the hand, draw three. And it's okay if we just, you know, discard some of these other stuff if, or if we have an empty hand, then it's amazing. Um, so we're going to try that out um, 
and that should again help us just dig for pike but then it also gives us a little interaction while we are digging for pike that deal three to an enemy is pretty nice too and and you get a body in play also right you get a three three that can attack and block and you get deal three to an enemy so we're gonna try that card out another way to dig for more pikes okay we got a victor heimer deck so we got a control deck you will be gone you will be gone we'll keep you two it's always good putting the lurkers into the deck also, right? Because you want to, you know, hit the the cards with lurk. So it's good having the having the cards that don't have lurk in your hand, then hitting the cards with lurk with your attacks. And I don't get to grant an enemy vulnerable, but we do want to attack. So let's hit Lurk. Let's get a Death from Below. Death from Below. Nah, no Death from Below. Okay, not bad, not bad. Alright, we're gonna shoot that before they can play something else. Death from below. Ah, uh, no death from below. Alright, so this is a tough call whether to perfectionist first or not, because we get an attack like where they don't have a blocker right here. But we could perfectionist and maybe put Pike on top. This is a tough call. I think we perfectionist. Pike. Uh, no pike. We hit a lurker. But it's not a very good lurker. Like, I don't want to draw Sharkling, and I don't want to put more Sharklings into the deck. So I guess we just skip. Same with Bloodbait. Okay, got it. I think maybe. Hang on. <laughs> yeah, we missed. We don't know what would happen if we didn't. Predict. Yeah, because finding Pike's more important than just hitting a, a Lurk in this deck. Wrong champ. <laughs> we need Pike on top. We hit the wrong champ. Join the glorious evolution. Things aren't going to improve themselves. Yes, of course. So if they, yeah, you know, like we'll just go to next round and attack. If they use a removal spell on Pike, then or on uh, Echo, then we'll have Bone Skewer. This is my future. All right, there we go. Good lurk. Victor's Death Ray and Pokey Stick. Why do you only have two health? Echo. All right, so they got a Victor, like or another Death Ray. I guess they have another Death Ray in that top part of their deck. Where did you come from? Oh, they're playing Vandal City. That means we shuffle away the, that Echo. I think we want Echo back in hand. We already lurked this round. We can't lurk again. <laughs> Wrong champ would make a great emote. Be a good emote. Wrong champ. We made it. Yay. But our stuff did it. Yes, there's Pike. Alright, we found a Pike. That's good. 
So now I'm scared to play Echo. I'm kind of scared to play Echo right now. Because then if I play Echo, they kill it, then I want a Bone Skewer, but I don't want to do that with Echo on top of, or with Pike on top of this one, draw the Pike. Man, that's good for the opponent. They got to use all their mana. Alright, so we'll pass the round. They're at 10 cards, so they gotta play stuff. So they're still at 10 cards. Astounding curiosity fly ahead. So if they pass the round, they burn two cards. So I'm not I'm just not giving them options to cast removal spells on my stuff. Alright, so they burn one card. Drink a trade. Oh, I would have had a pike. So of course we know that they have a lot of removal spells in hand, including we know about uh, you know, like we know they have the death ray, for example. With all their stuff costing one less, this is going to be difficult for us. Okay, that worked. All right, so Pike's seven out of fifteen. 15 being a little bit of an awkward number. Hmm. I guess we take Echo. Hello, Aimness. Welcome from YouTube. Thanks for coming on over and hanging out. Glad to have you here. It, you always have to kill that card immediately. But that's the awkward part, is it's 14 out of 15 now. Alright, so we'll get the board wipe in. All right, so we have Pike on top, and now we want to Blood Bait so we can draw the Swarm and not draw the Pike, and now next round we can cast the Swarm and turn the Pike into a Death from below. So then we're sitting at. Um, I guess we just play the Echo, even though they're, they're probably going to kill the Echo. But if they have removal for Echo, that means they're not using removal for this kind of stuff. But yeah, they're going to just get. They're going to get a lot of little O ones, which are challengers. The challengers are going to kill stuff. Knife steal. Yeah, this doesn't look good. At least they, they didn't play that correctly, because they, they should have played the challenger first. So this could be a, a one one now. You know, you know, now it's a it's a one one now, it should be a two one. They would have played that first. 
Yes, yeah, so that could be a 3 1 and a 2 2. Um, doesn't look like it'll matter. That's, that's just great having all those zero mana cards to go along with the Heimer. Okay, but we, we still get Death from Below on top. Oh, is this game over? Oh, it's game over, isn't it? Yeah, they just challenged my three blockers. They have lethal. Darn it. We could only survive this round. Too many zero cost cards. GG's. That was so close. I was too greedy keeping that champion. Should just discarded Echo, go grab Death from below, and then we were good. I didn't realize that we were going to be dying that round, you know, I, that was the mistake. I think we can keep this. Good. Unfortunately, it wasn't death from below. Should have just passed. I, I wanted to pass. But I also thought, like, well, why aren't they playing anything? If they had anything, they would play it. I should have just passed. Well, the good news is we got a never had luck, oh. never needed. got a single combat out of their hand for a card that doesn't really matter. You know, they didn't kill like a champion or anything like that with a single combat. Like that would have been a bunch better single combat for them. Our sun will not set today. Do we want to make sure that we lurk with this blood bait? Or are we still just trying to hit death from below? I kind of feel like the latter. I'm not lie, I kind of want to attack with. Attack with Echo and just get this. Alright, so we get this time trick. Cool. We got these healths down to a lot lower. but we're doing terrible finding death from below.
I know it's not what that card's for. But we're just not finding death from below. Oh, that's a good thing about Parade Electro Rig. New tech, new tricks, new day, new song. I do my own stunts. I'll protect you. Give them a final spark. We have to kill this Robin. This Robin's just been killing us with this Daybreak. And obviously the Lux's been killing us too. That's too bad, that was a very good card for them to have. Okay, so you're three out of four, so good thing we grabbed that other time trick. Oh, come on, both had Lux? Ugh. I would have rather them both at Robin. Things into eight power, of course. Try to get through this, Robin. Well, that's not easy to do. Alright, Chrono Breaks. Let's see if we can find those. Go and do this. Let's create another parallel convergence in the deck. Obviously, we don't need to snap draw swarm right now with that thing having a barrier. Yes, a chrono break. Okay, that's what we're talking about. All right, so we have six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, so actually, so our whole hand costs twelve. Yes, our whole hand costs twelve. We can do that. Do this. That morning light really hurts. Oh, but then I discard that! Alright, that's how that works. Yeah, technically Pike did show up, but it's lethal. Let's not 
do that again. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not perfect. I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't play the Chrono Break first. Chrono Break, you know, would have got us back to seven two, but we still lose. Like even if we would have, even if I would have Chrono Break first, we're still taking lethal to all that overwhelm damage and the final spark. So it wouldn't have mattered with them having with them having like that two mana stun card. It wouldn't have mattered. Am I keeping cold shots? So we could be a very good parallel convergence deck. I don't think anything has changed from... Oh, yay! Alright! We got a card, we... Finally! Alright, so Pike finally showed up. Um, but anyway, sorry, the, the question was, what's the game plan of the new Nami Zoe? I don't think it's changed at all. I think it's the exact same deck. It's just worse because of a couple of nerfs, but I don't think anything has changed in the deck. I don't think they. I don't think you can remove Sparklefly. You you definitely have, you have to play Sparklefly in this kind of deck. You know, it's it's all about buffing up the Sparklefly and everything too for like the life steal. Because otherwise, you're you're gonna die to aggro if you don't have Sparklefly. Without Sparklefly, this deck has no chance against aggro. So I don't. I don't think that's anything. It changed. Uh, I guess. I think we're probably perfectionist. Another pike? No. We'll take some snapjaw swarms. Snapjaw swarms are good. I think I got it. I think maybe. Yeah, like they are just a sparkle fly deck. You can't, you can't take that out of the deck. They, they probably, they could take out gifts from beyond. You know, like maybe they don't, don't play gifts from beyond anymore since gifts from beyond doesn't grab sparkle fly. Wow. Find a pike. Not a pike. A blood bait? I don't really want a blood bait, but well, guess I, did that. I do want you to hit oh, lurk. So smart. But you need that. Ah, uh, miss lurk. Hey, <laughs> yeah, we have parade electro rig in here to make more pikes. Maybe it puts Parallel Convergence right on top of the deck, like the very first, very top card. No. Ah. Let's start again. let damage happen eight minus seven and then miss try to mystic shot them I should have just done that I don't know we'll take it More names off the list. More names on it. GG's all right so we you know our deck wasn't perfect obviously it's a meme tier deck but I have to say that we were pretty impressed with some of the stuff that we we're able to do with um, you know getting lots of copies of Pike in the deck and uh, being able to predict a lot, chrono breaks, that kind of stuff. We still have that first game. That first game was awesome. Uh, the rest of the game is not quite as cool, but that first game was awesome. Augmented Experimenter still didn't look great. There's not really a good option. I don't know. I don't know what to do for that that slot of like card draw. I mean, you could be playing like 
like maybe the thing to do because I don't I didn't really I wasn't impressed with the experimenter and I wasn't I wasn't impressed with the most wanted either. I mean I guess we could play progress days, but they're just so expensive. But we saw that we were running out of cards in hand. Maybe the thing to do is just play salvage. You only draw two instead of drawing three, but it only costs four mana, and it's just burst speed. And honestly, the toss two could actually... I, I didn't think about it, but we could... The toss two is actually maybe good for us, right? Because we want just our deck to have pikes, and we're not going to be tossing pikes. We'll be tossing two other random cards. And if we're predicting and shuffling, that's just like two cards that are gone from the deck that, that won't be... You know, that thins your deck a little bit to find pikes. So maybe that's actually the card to play. Maybe maybe that's what we should do is play salvage. Cheaper, draw two, and then um yeah, I guess that toss two is actually kind of a bonus for us. I guess that's that actually is. We, since we do shuffle the deck with predicts, uh, the less non champions in the deck, the higher probability that you are getting a death from below. Okay. So there we go. That's that's the card. That's that's what we're going to play with this deck moving forward. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, try this deck out. Try the Salvage. Let me know how you like Salvage in there. And maybe that can kind of help uh, with how those card draws. Because it was that was awkward. You know, like both both Most Wanted, like most, most Wanted was kind of awkward. And uh, Augmented Experimenter was awkward too with having to discard your hand. They're both kind of awkward. Let's, let's try Salvage instead in here. All right, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the salvage. Let me know what you think of the deck. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it for a meme tier deck. Got to have some cool games and got to do some cool stuff with, uh, you know, Pike and Echo. It was tricky to play. You know, made some mistakes in some of the games, uh, but it was definitely a fun one. Definitely a unique Pike deck. And you don't see very many of those, so that's good. Anyway, that's going to be it here, though, for Echo Pike. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.